talking about sunglasses with the patient is something that they respond to very well. They, they understand the benefit of protecting their eye from high energy visible light as well as the UV rays by wearing sunglasses. Macular pigment actually serves as an internal screen in that same way. So it's a yellow pigment, which means that it filters high energy blue light and actually uh, reduces the amount of light that's progressing through to the neurosensory retina. That's kind of a secondary benefit to macular pigment. Its main aim or its main benefit is that it actually provides oxidative stress relief. So the molecules within the carotenoids that make up the macular pigment have electrons that are very easily donated. And within the neurosensory retina, within the photoreceptor layer, it's a very highly metabolic tissue. When you metabolize oxygen, the byproduct, the cost of doing business, if you like, is reactive oxygen intermediates. These are molecules that are unstable, um, they're highly reactive, and they look for neighboring molecules that they can steal electrons from in order for them to be brought back to a ground state. And the macular pigment serves to donate those electrons, to quench those reactive oxygen species, those free radicals, and to prevent them from damaging the surrounding tissues. If the macular pigment is low, those reactive oxygen species are going to react with whatever they can find. And they'll do that by reacting with cell walls, with membranes, potentially DNA within the cells themselves. So the macular pigment really serves to protect against that negative effect.